Becoming an excellent flayer takes time and patience. Work with your player coach and know that you will get better with time. Focus on the technique first and maximizing your recovery. Speed can come later. Your protective gloves will protect your hands from slicing. The arm guard is an additional protective measure. Some filleters opt to add an additional glove on top of their cutting glove as the water used when filleting can be cold. You will want to wear safety glasses as scales can fly up during the filleting process and potentially damage your eyes or splashing water can potentially get into your eyes. Using the proper knife is extremely important as you will use different knives depending on the species and size of fish you are filleting. Having a sharp knife is key to your success. It takes time and practice to learn how to properly sharpen your blade and I can't stress enough how important this is. Please work with your player coach to ensure your knife is sharp. You'll want to stand with your belly button even with the table. You may need to use a stool to reach the proper height. At some locations you can adjust the height of your stool. If the table height is too low, your shoulders become sore. If it's too high, it can strain your back. You will stand at a slight angle facing the fish. The fish should be at a 45 degree angle with the head pointing at you approximately 2 or 3 inches from the edge of the table. You want to hold the knife in your dominant hand with your fingers around the grip and your thumb extended on the back side of the grip. The process varies depending on the species you are filleting. Let's first walk through how to fillet a flat fish such as a Dover or Petrali sole. We will start with the smoother, lighter side of the fish. Hold the fish steady with your fingertips just below the head with your non-dominant hand. Insert the knife above the belly, bring the blade down, and push with your arm down the length of the fish through the tail to cut half the fillet. The work is done by your arm as opposed to your wrist or hand as you push the knife away from you to fillet the fish. We'll now finish and cut the second half of the fillet. Rotate the fish so that it's parallel with the table. Peel back the fillet, slide your knife underneath, and extend your first cut in line with the head of the fish. Now let your knife glide down to the tail to finish cutting the fillet. Now let's cut the fillet from the other side. Flip the fish over and position it at a 45 degree angle. Hold the head of the fish steady with your less dominant hand. Slice the fish along the gill plate in line with the head towards yourself, cutting through the pectoral fin. Rotate the knife so that it's flat and using your arm, push the knife through the tail. Peel the flesh back and slide your knife under the fillet and cut through until the ribs are exposed. Now, slide your knife underneath and push through the tail to release the fillet. For most rockfish, we will use a four-cut method on both sides of the fish. We'll first cut along the gill plate in line with the head. Rotate the knife so that the blade is facing away from you and cut along the spine through the tail. Peel back the fillet and cut towards the head to begin to release the fillet. Finally, holding the fillet, complete the cut. Repeat this process in the opposite direction for the other side of the fish. Filleting Rex Soul calls for a unique method that can be challenging for new filleters. You will start on the blind side of the fish, opposite from the eyed side. First, cut off the dorsal fin of the fish. Next, cut the head and run the knife down the fish to also remove the anal fin. Make a slice in the tail just enough to reach the skin on the eyed side of the fish. Turn it over and gently peel off the skin. Finally, use the tip of your knife to scrape out the remaining offal. 
As you can see, each species of fish is filleted a little differently. This is why it's extremely important to work with your player coach to learn the proper techniques. 